Okay, boxing fans right now talking about Luke Wilton versus Kevin Satchel. This is a good fight for the British and Commonwealth Flyweight titles. This is the number one and the number two. Finding it out to see who is number one in the division domestically. And this should propel the winner to bigger and better things, maybe European level. And the loser can regroup and take on the domestic scene all over again. Uh, basically, Satchel's won both the titles in his last two fights. He has a record of nine wins, only two knockouts, undefeated against Wilton, who is 13 wins, seven of which come by way of knockout, to only two defeats and a draw. He is definitely the more experienced fighter, but then again, Satchel's fought at a higher level, so it evens itself out. Satchel won the title. First, the Commonwealth title against Paul Edwards, and then the British title against Chris Edwards, neither of which are related to each other, just a coincidence. And it, he won them both by stoppage. Looking at the power of these two guys, you know, neither of these guys are huge power punchers, but they are both young and can both grow into their power. If I had to tip one of these guys to be a bigger puncher, I would say Wilton. He is the bigger puncher because he has the better finishing ability, the better killer instinct. But then again, if you look at Satchel, he's only had nine fights and his last two of which have been by knockout. And they were both at the British level. Just something to consider. If you look at the boxing ability of these guys, and both of these guys like to come forward and throw a lot of punches in combinations. Neither boxer truly works off the jab and tries to set up the rest of their shots off it but you know Wilton does have a, a accurate jab as was seen in the Uzi fight defensively Wilton likes to keep his guard up and he likes to keep it tight but he has been outpointed before in fights and he likes well you know he doesn't like it he is open to a counter shot when he's throwing the combinations also there's something to definitely consider uh, Kevin Satchel's only been 10 rounds once in his career all the rest have been have not been past six rounds. Wilton, on the other hand, has never been past six rounds in his career. So you have to question the stamina of both of these guys. However, you know, Satchel has been in ten rounds before and he was doing so well that he actually stopped his opponent in the tenth round. Well his opponent's actually retired, but the point is the same. He's got the stoppage in the late round. So you have to say the stamina could be key in this fight, you know. Wilton is going to want to throw a lot of leather in this fight to get up on the cards, especially the fight being in Liverpool. Satchel is a Liverpool fighter. You know, it wouldn't be surprised me if he wins a lot of the early rounds, Wilton, or gets stopped late in the fight when he does slow down and allows Satchel to dictate the tempo. So for my prediction, I'm going to say Kevin Satchel defends both of his titles very well in this fight, getting a late stoppage. But if it goes to the points, I also wouldn't be very surprised because Wilton's got a good chin he's only ever lost twice at domestic level and both of those times they were on points 